How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are doing another commentary track for a movie. So this time I'm going to be watching Stand By Me and Stand By Me is one of my very very favorite movies of all time. So yeah we're just going to get into it. So in order for me to get synced up with the movie, um, <laughs> pause when I said a pause and then press play as soon as the... Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> it's starting. Ooh. Here we go. It's time. Columbia Pictures presents a very good movie. Immediately right off the bat. Great song. Love this song. I wonder what he's thinking about, hmm? Wait a minute. <laughs> Why did they flip that? He looked weird. It looked like he was wearing a hat. And then when they cut into the car, he wasn't wearing a hat. Attorney Christopher Chambers fatally stabbed in restaurant. Well, that's a bummer. Ah, yes. The good old days. When you used to... <laughs> Ride your bike on a lonely, random road with your best friend, hoping not to get stabbed by some random guy. I was 12 going on 13 the first time I saw a dead human being. That's also a bummer, dude. Come on now. What are we doing? What does that even mean? I don't get that old cash register right there. It's boss. It's boss. Nice. How do you know a Frenchman's been in your backyard? I am French, okay? Your garbage cans are empty and your dog's pregnant. <laughs> Ew. Wait a minute. Piss up a rope. <laughs> Piss up a rope? How do you do that? Wait, bit the bag and stepped out the door. These 50s, these 50s uh, analogies are going right over my head, all right? Oh, look at that ear. You freak. Pile of shit has a thousand eyes. That right there is my favorite, my favorite line of the whole movie. This is so boss. Again with that word boss. We had all followed the Ray Brower story very closely because he was a kid our age. Yeah, my ass he was a kid their age. This fucking dude, this kid looked like he was in his 30s when they find him. Me and my dad used to fish for Cossies out there. Cossies? What, the, what is he talking about? Wait a minute. I gotta look this up real quick. What's a Cossie? A British swimming costume? <laughs> Nobody will care. Because everybody's going to be so jazzed about what we found, it's not going to make a difference. Yeah. No one's going to be jazzed. Everyone's going to be more depressed, but... Burn? I don't know. This was your idea, on, fucko. No. That summer at home, I had become the Invisible Boy. That's my new band uh, name, Invisible Boy. In April, my older brother Dennis had been killed in a jeep accident. That doesn't mean shit on your other son. Why can't you have friends like Dennis? I don't know, Dad. Why are you wearing that shirt? Why is there a random patch on his jeans? That's just so weird. Is that a desert eagle? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! Hey, who did that? Who's letting cherry bombs off out here? Oh, yeah, yeah, cherry bombs. There's obviously a bullet hole in that trash can, but... You knew it was loaded, you wet end! Wet end? What does that even mean? Hey, I know that guy. Where you going? Why do you take his hat, though? Like, every single, like, group of bullies? And any Stephen King movie are exactly the same. I feel a whole lot better about this. I feel a whole lot better about being a scumbag. Later, girls. Who is that guy? Why does he have his jean jacket half on, half off? You either go all the way, or you don't wear it at all. We follow the tracks all the way into Harlow. It should be about 20 miles. Yeah, yeah, it might even be 30. No, I don't know. I don't know math. I'm too dumb. Not if Chopper's there. Chopper's there. Chopper's about to bite some dicks off. That's what's happening. Just two bucks? <laughs> Which back in 1959 can buy you an entire house. It's because a lunatic. What is wrong with him? Why? <laughs> Why? You know, this before cell phones and the computer and the internet. So they just did this. Hey, hey, so. Why does this dude want to tell this guy so bad? Can you just keep a secret? I would have, I always think about that. I would have dropped that baseball bat so many times if I played that game. Never misses, does it? Not even when the ladies leave the seat down. What the right. fuck? Ew. <laughs> what are these fucking jokers back there? That's tits are great. Do you know what titties look like, boy? Four tails. Oh, Jesus, man, that's a goocher. <laughs> a goocher. <laughs> Finding new and preferably disgusting ways to degrade a friend's mother was always held in high regard. 
I love how he came in for like just that couple of lines and then he was just like, all right, yeah, good day. Nice. Where's my paycheck? Dorothy, don't talk to the boy about girls. Dad. You shouldn't be thinking about girls. I want him to be gay. Jesus, even when he was like, his brother was still alive, they just shit on him for no reason. You start in on the girls and his mind's all over the place. What are you talking about? He's trying to shine a light on his brother, you fucking asshole. Do you play football? Look at me. Do you think I play football, dude? Yeah, this is a golden retriever right there. I'm gonna rip your hair up and shit down your neck! Oh my god. Have gun will travel, reads the card of a man. Are you serious? This is not appropriate. What are you doing? Jesus, why don't you just get a real tattoo? We interrupt to bring you an update on the search for the missing 12-year-old Ray Brower. He's not 12. When they find him, it's like a 40-year-old man. Yeah, I think I'll be able to to be a 1950s radio host. Do you, do you think they have a radio or is it just coincidence that they're like singing to that song too? You ready for school? Oh no, I don't have school anymore. I'm 21 years old. I know how your dad feels about you. He doesn't give a shit about you. Yeah, his dad sucks ass. Come on, you guys, let's get moving. Yeah, by the time we get there, the kid won't even be dead anymore. That makes no sense. That is also a good song. <laughs> his reaction. Oh shit. You just run, dude. What are you doing? You laying there is not gonna help anything. Hey, at least now we know when the next train was due. Oh my God, who wrote that? <laughs> who wrote that? <laughs> was it Stephen King? Cause if it was, I'm gonna beat his ass. Ew, what the hell is that? This has to be like the weirdest part in the movie because like I wasn't paying attention when I was a kid, and then like it got to this part, and I was just like, wait, what happened? Am I watching a different movie or? Don't even think about. Why is he holding him like that? He's about to kiss him. He's like, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba. these asshole old men do. Like, get out of here. You were born in the 1800s. No, he's not done. There's so much more on there. Ooh, I can't even imagine drinking oil. It looks like they made a fat kid fatter. Like they put pillows under his shirt and stuff. Oh, the benevolent order of antelopes. Fuck those guys. They're cucks. They do have a radio. Oh, man, that answers my question. What's goofy? He's a dog. I have one food for the rest of my life. That's easy. Pez. Pez is disgusting. Pez is like eating chalk. The brown kid. His ghost out walking in the woods. <laughs> this isn't a supernatural Stephen King movie, you dummy. I promise I'll eat all my lima beans. <laughs> oh, what a badass. Look at the way he's holding that gun. How do they know what time it is? Should have been you, Gordon. Oh my god. That does sound like something he would say, though. His dad sucks ass. He's the shittiest father in history. Oh, you guys suck ass. Oh, get your fucking shoes out of the dirty ass mud. Oh, there goes all their shit. They look real, though, because when they take them off, there's, like, red stains on them and shit. That's my worst fear. I don't ever want to get near a leech. Ever. I just had a dream. <laughs> I was in the Wizard of Oz. Or, I was in the Wizard of Oz. I was in Oz, and you were there, and you, and you were there. And then a leech bit my dick off. It's crazy how the ending of the movie is coming up real fast. God, look at those legs. Good God. Yeah, that's like a 30-year-old man. I love how they got there in like 15 minutes because they drove. Burn, you little son of a whore. You was under the porch. No, no, I swear, it wasn't me. <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't you go home and fuck your mother some more? Oh, get wrecked. Forgot they had that 45. Gonna get you for this. Spoiler alert, they don't. Where'd these fuckos come from? <laughs> Until eventually they became just two more faces in the halls. That's so sad. Chris, who had always made the best piece, tried to break it up. He was stabbed in the throat. He died almost instantly. That's so fucked. Like, oh man, great song, great movie. Stephen King, the best, always the best. Um, yeah, that's the end of the movie. Um, if you guys want to see another commentary track, I might, I might do another one. Um, I'm thinking about doing like X Men or or uh, Spider Man, like the trilogy, Sam Raimi trilogy, because uh, I feel like that would give like a lot of good content and a lot of funny moments. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like as always and consider subscribing if you want to watch more videos like this hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time